All right, so now I'm going to go over some of the things you can do with the free version of the Red Editor. Um, there are pay for versions of this program. Um, there, a lot of effort went into it. Uh, I mean, we don't usually allow for people to charge for tools or anything on the forums, but this thing is so powerful and so well made that you know it, it, we we've been allowing it for the past few years. As you can see in this comparison chart, um, the free version only can, can only open um, roster files and can only edit the players tab. Now, like I said in the first video for the redditor, the edit teams tab is what you need to be able to trade players outside of the game. Um, and I, you know, I'll be completely honest with you, if you're actually going to spend money on an editor for the game, and you can't do what you can do in this in this free video or in this video for the free version just buy the guru version like do yourself a favor because it is so annoying to have one of these lesser versions and then um not be able to edit something even though you thought you could and granted you know he does scale the upgrade so that you don't have to pay you know twenty five dollars if you go from player to developer to guru but just get it all in one because it just makes it so much easier <coughs> Excuse me. So, looking at the uh, players tab, in the free version of the Redditor, this is all you can edit. What you see here is what you get. Um, the, you get the first name, last name, that's fine. Nicknames, we're all good with that. Player type is um, important because it says, um, you know, if it's a legend, celebrity, uh, slot for a creative player, I mean, you can see this right here. Um, regular players for regular NBA players, it's really good. Um, I mean, you can change, you can change the height and weights of things, and I mean, you can do a lot with the free version. You could completely make the entire NBA generic for the players. You got, you saw the same team, but you can change out the entire league. And one thing I recommend doing is, um, you can select this, or you know, Control A and just get everything and copy it into either open office or excel and that's something that i'm going to you know cover later because it's something that i do a lot of but um it's very very useful to be able to run formulas and uh come up with randomly generated players with ge uh, with uh, random animations and personalities and statistics and tendencies and all that fun stuff having it random and making a generic roster can be done very easily if you use excel or open office and as you can see here, you know, ten, like I said in the first video, tendencies, hotspots, animations, gear, you know, what gear the person wears is all editable in the free version of the editor. Um, one thing that people do need to know, aside from the fact that you can't trade players, is that you need to know how you can cr um, add a cyber face to a created player. So let's say I created David Washington here. I didn't. He's a D-League player, but let's say I did. Um, <laughs> if I wanted to give him a cyber face that I made myself, an if file, first thing I need to do is, this, is make that if file not overwrite any other uh, uh, cyber face file in the directory. So if I load up the directory real quick, um, cyber faces start with, or the files begin with PNG, and then as you can see, they have four numbers after them. So let's say I want to assign a face to this guy, and uh, four. Okay, excuse me. Six forty-six has not been taken by. It's not being used by the game. So that means if this guy's created, I have this value right here, which is one. That's generic face. I change that to zero. So now the game is going to expect to try to find an if file based on this number right here, the cyber face ID. And if I change that number to 646, if I had a uh, if file right here called PNG0646, when the game loads up this player, it's, he's going to have that face rather than a generic create a player face. Um, you're also going to want to make sure you edit the skin tone as appropriate. Um, you know, that depends on what kind of face you make and what who you're making it for and all that fun. Um, and you can ignore the rest of these creative player things after you create that uh, if file. Um, that's pretty much all I'm going to cover in this video. Um, 
just to keep things separate for people who are using the free version of the editor. Um, if you want to do more that you see in the other videos, I just recommend going right to Guru so you can do it all. Um, but we will go from there and I'll see you in the next video.